This next section regarding exponential notation is going to relate solely to squares and cubes. And when I say squares and cubes, no, cubes, cubes, not, not cubert. Thanks, buddy. Um, back to squares and cubes. What we're going to do is look at the relationship between the squares of certain numbers and their square roots and the cubes of certain numbers and their cube roots. So we know that if we square 3, we get 3 times 3 and that gets us 9. So 3 squared, if we square 3, we get 9. But also, if you square negative 3, negative 3 times negative 3 and negative times negative is a positive, that also gets us 9. So if we square 3 and negative 3, we get 9. Then, therefore, if we take the square root, awesome little sign there, the square root of 9 we will get 3 and a negative 3. Remember that a square root could potentially have both a positive and a negative answer. Let's take a look again at some cubes. Um, come on, man. Cubes. Um, let's take, for example, 5 cubed. Then I see 5 times 5 times 5 gets me 125. Then, therefore, that tells me that the cube root of 125, in this case, is going to be 5. Could it also be negative 5? Well, maybe we should try that out. I don't think you're going to get the same answer, because we have a negative 5 times a negative 5, which is a positive 25 times a negative 5 again, and that's going to get us a negative 125. And what we see, or what we should know, is that a negative 125 is not the same as a positive 125. Also notice, when you're taking the cube root of a value, you still have this symbol with a 3 on the outside there. And that's telling you you're taking the cube root of a value. So what you might be wondering is, well, how does this help me? Here are some examples. Let's say, for example, you need to find, you need to solve some equations. So in this case, I want to take this x squared equals 4.41. So what I'm going to need to do in order to solve this is take the square root of both sides. Because I know that square that square that taking the square root of something will undo the squaring of that value. So that'll get me that'll leave me with x. And then when I take the square root of 4.41, that's going to leave me with 2.1 or negative 2.1. Same thing now as if I have x cubed equals 1,000 and I go ahead and need to solve. So I'm going to take the cube root, in this case, of x cubed. So I need to take the cube root of 1,000. So what number times itself three times equals 1,000? And in this case, I get that x equals 10. All right, so last up for you, I have a challenge problem. Um, you're going to take the fifth root, so notice not square root or cube root, but the fifth root of 32 over 243. These numbers may look a little familiar to you. Um, I recommend that you use the previous rules that you have learned regarding exponents in order to help you arrive at a solution. That is all.